So this is question 7, paper 1, in the 2011 Higher Maths paper. The question gives us a cubic function and asks us to find the remainder when it's divided by x minus 1. So let's start by doing a very simple number division, one that you're very familiar with. So if we try to divide 7 by 2, 2 goes into 7 3 times, 3 2s are 6, that's a remainder of 1. So 2 into 7 goes 3 times remainder 1. This would mean that we could take 7 and write it as 2 times 3 plus the 1. So there's a straightforward, simple number division. We can do a similar type of thing for these polynomials, dividing this cubic degree 3 polynomial by x minus 1. So we set up the division. We're dividing by x minus 1. We use the number that would make this expression 0. In other words, an x equals 1. If it had been x plus 1, we would have used minus 1. It's an x minus 1, so we'll use positive 1. So we put down our positive 1. And there's our division. Now, to write this down, we just use the coefficients of each term. That's the number that multiplies each of these terms. So we look at the x cubed term. There's a 1 in front of it. There's 1 lot of x cubed. The x squared term, minus 1. The x term, 1. And the constant term at the end, 3. Now notice if there had been no x squared term, for instance, we would have still had to put a 0 in there. That would have been represented by uh, a number here. So that's a cubic. There has to be four numbers here. So the procedure is as follows. We take this one and drop it down to there. Multiply. 1 times 1 is 1. We then add these two. That gives us a 0. We then multiply. That gives us 0. 1 times 0 is 0. We then add. That's 1. We multiply. 1 times 1 is 1. And then we add. Now, the result of this, we've divided by x minus 1, this is the result, and this is the remainder. It basically means that this cubic, the x cubed minus x squared plus x plus 3, that's this, that's like the equivalent of this 7 here, is equal to x minus 1, because that's what this 1 represents, times, now, this was a cubic, we now go down one power, so instead of x cubed, this stands for x squared, so it's 1x squared, no x's, plus 1. with a remainder of 4. So, in the way that, in the same way that 2 into 7 goes 3 with a remainder of 1, we can see x minus 1 goes into x cubed minus x squared plus x plus 3, x squared plus 1 times with a remainder of 4. And just as we could say that this 7 is 2 times 3 plus 1, this x cubed minus x squared plus x plus 3 is equal to x minus 1 times this x squared plus 1 plus a 4. Anyway, that's the remainder. So the question says, what is the remainder when f of x, this cubic, is divided by x minus 1? 
the remainders for. So let's look at the choices that we've got. It would seem choice D is the correct answer. 